Hi everyone, welcome back to Forgotten Waters, and let's just get right back into it. So, it's, uh, it's action time. So, Captain's Quarters has got to be one. That's how we're going to progress uh, f by finding things out, isn't it? So, uh, Hungry Crew, I don't have to go on. Sail, I have to go on. So, what would we like to try and get? We could try talking to the crew. Spear the fish to get more supplies and things. Hmm, I think let's, let's explore. Charting a course I'm not as excited about. Spearing fish, yeah, it's supply, it's maybe treasure. Let's, um, no, let's not chart a course. Let's, let's spear some fish. You always need more supplies, don't you? Okay, so hungry crew has to happen. So it's been a while since we've done this, so let's have a reminder. We either need to feed the crew, the, the hunger at the moment is on two. So actually, I'm, I, I'm leaning definitely towards that because the bottom option would consume all of our supplies. So I don't want to do that. Causing them to go hungry would be good for swagger and infamy, but would increase the discontent to two, and the crew is only at four, and if they meet, we lose. So yeah, the top option is surely the best. Spend it equal to their hunger. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to choose the top option. Feed the hungry crew. So that's going to be two supplies, and I get infamy plus one. So that's uh, an extra one thanks to the parrot. And discontent minus one, it's already at zero. Very content crew, there's just not many of them left. So next up we're going to explore, aren't we? So choose two of the following. Fight a walrus to get some brawn and some infamy. We can hunt for treasure to get a treasure. We can set some traps, perform a hunting check, and if we get a good result, read an entry. And search the sunken ship. Well, that's, that's definitely one of them. We are fairly good at hunting. We need a 10 or more though, don't we? I'm going to set some traps and search the sunken ship. More of a tongue twister than I feel like it should have been. So set some traps is perform a hunting check. We're not allowed to raise it though. Like usually you're allowed to raise it before you do it. So we, we have got plus four, five, six. And what do we need? A 10 or more. So I, we've got a pretty good chance, haven't we? So yeah, we need four at least, don't we, on the, on the die. Two isn't good enough. Thankfully, we have some uh, reroll tokens, so I'll spend one there. Come on, at least a four. Two again! Ah, oh, come on, actually roll it in your hand and don't just drop it. Eleven, there we go. So, on a result of ten or more, read entry 225. Over to you, iPad. 225, yeah. You spot an odd, dark shape in the water and call some crew over to help you. Using some rope and a winch, you haul up the mystery object and are all startled to find it is a scuttle shark. These revolting scavengers on the ocean floor are quite harmless and often house strange items they've swallowed in their bellies. You slice open the immense, blubbery creature and inside it, you find a great many tins of food and a sparkly bit of treasure. Nature's a beautiful thing, you say in admiration. And I marvel every time I cut it open or chop it to bits. Oh, so that's our results. So supplies plus three. We're up to eight supplies. And treasure plus one. So I have gotten a fake gun. When you gain one or more aim, you may steal a treasure from another player. <laughs> Not good to me at all. So I am just going to discard that for yet more supplies. Okie doke. So that was that. And then I'm, su I'm searching the sunken ship. So, uh, entry 226. Yeah. Is objective card 10 gather evidence in play? It is indeed, yes. You spy the wreckage of a ship on the water and quickly move in to investigate. It was a pirate vessel, though you're unsure whose. You find some useful things when poking around the debris, including some ruined papers. But you find a sealed scroll case, inside of which is a rolled up charcoal drawing in perfect condition, depicting three pirates raising glasses in celebration. Each pirate is named beneath their portrait. There is Captain Lucky Jeff Lefty, Captain Felicia Gomez, and Captain Bonnie Calhoun. You suck in your breath. The Bonnie Calhoun in the picture looks nothing like the woman captaining your ship. <gasps> So, uh, lock action three. Luckily, we're done with it. And so, make a tick mark next to evidence on the ship's log. And then, are there four or more marks? There are three tick marks next to evidence now, so not quite. You need to find more evidence. Continue play. Okie doke. So, spear fish is next. 
So for Spearfish, it's aim plus one and then perform an aim check. And then hope the, the higher we roll, the more stuff we get. So I, we've got so many supplies, I'm absolutely going to take the aim plus one, which has got a star on it. So that's going to be one, two, three, four in for me. And it's, uh, it's purple, isn't it? So we've got aim plus one, plus two at the moment. So what have we got? Three. So that would be crew minus one. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want crew minus one. We've only got four. Four. Five, six. So that puts us to the next one, which is just supplies plus one. Hoped for better, but yeah, we've, we've got aim plus one for later, haven't we? It's, it's, it wasn't uh, all a waste. So then we've got captain's quarters. Fill in the next captain's quarters box on the ship's log and read the entry. So this is going to be entry 44, and hopefully this is going to lead us some, to some more evidence, the last piece we need. You sneak near to Captain Calhoun's quarters, but bump into her near the stairs. I have a question for you. Captain Calhoun asks as she puts a hand on your shoulder. Yes, Captain? You ask. Do you think this looks like me? And she pulls out an Emma Johnson wanted poster, just like the one you saw earlier. Oh dear. What do we do? Do we lie and say it doesn't look anything like her? Or say it looks like the spitting image? I don't know here. I've got uh, I've got no kind of gut feeling about which way this will go. I think yes, we're going to lie and say it doesn't look anything like you. Interesting, says Calhoun. What did she do this Emma Johnson? It must be severe for the Grand Pirate Council to be after her. Well, it said she once traded away her ship's medical supplies for really good theater tickets. Most of her people died of toothache soon after. It's rumors she nicked the Golden Bunyan from the Council, the fastest vessel ever to sail the seas. Which wasn't nice since the Council had just nicked it from the Royals. But perhaps worst of all, it said she stole flip-flops. The Pirate King's beloved pet penguin. I see. Says Calhoun. She sounds like a fiend. You know, I've heard the council is located somewhere called Cutlass Island. You know where that is? Maybe we could offer to find and return flip-flops. Nah, it's probably a made-up place. You lie. Later, as you search the captain's quarters for clues, you keep wondering how the captain doesn't know where Cutlass Island is. Cookie could tell you where it is, and he's barely qualified to prepare the soup. You end your search after finding a curious map to a place called Ricotta Cove. Okay, so Swagger plus one. Happy to spend the supplies for that. Infamy plus two. So that just loops me around and will get me a constellation. Oop, drop the pen. Constellation token, so we need to go this way now. And then reroll plus one and right... Map of Rakata Cove 957 on the ship's log. Unfortunately for us, look how far away that is. Okay then, so we're still going. We need to sail, don't we? So just as a reminder, this is the sail action, gain a navigation, then do a navigation check. The higher we roll, the less we have to pay to move. And it would be really lovely to just skip across the whole map. But we haven't scouted anything, so we might have to you know, just stop if we find one of those uh, exclamation marks. So do I want to take the navigation? Because at the moment, if we can roll high enough to spend two supplies a time, I've got enough for four spaces. We could always stop off and see what's cracking at 975. It's probably an event there to be had in the future, but we haven't been told to go there, so it would just be like a, a standard kind of island situation. At the moment, I've just got navigation plus one. So we're probably going to end up in the middle, aren't we? See, I won't, I won't take the... No, I will take the navigation plus one. Uh, so that is going to give me a star. So one, two, three, plus one. And let's roll for it then. So we need... So yeah, it's just plus two, isn't it? And we need a six at least. Twelve! So fourteen, which is the end of this thing. So infamy plus one. So that's uh, infamy plus two for me. You may spend supplies and or hull to move the ship. For each two, move the ship a space. So I guess we'll just pay a bit at a time. So I'll pay two to move a space because we, we might have to stop. Uh, so I, I don't think we'll stop on uh, on 29 there. We'll keep it moving. Spend another two supplies. That's uh, 19 there that we're fine with. Spend another two supplies so we can keep moving. And that is three, so we've got to stop anyway. So it's round end, so we're doing entry 802. What's happening there, iPad? Threat plus one. Oh, dear. 
Okay, so we now have three threat. So when we're asked to check it again, we are going to have to suffer some consequences. So have we got constellation events? We have, haven't we? Okay, time to read some constellation events. I convinced Randy Pancakes that the play we were working on was ready. We made a stop in town to put on an impromptu street performance. The crowd loved it, but portraying the events when Randy's ex-girlfriend ate their prized Shetland pony was a bit too personal. Rewrites may be in order. So supplies plus two and treasure plus one. Well, that's good, because we've just spent all the supplies. And uh, the treasure, clean gun sight. Ooh. When the bullet over here absolutely positively has to kill the person over there and gives me plus two to aim. Do I, wanna, I don't really want to give up on... Yeah, I don't want to give up on anything. I'm going to get another supply. Well, I would anyway, because I'd discard something, but yeah, well, I want to keep the ones I've got, I think. Okie doke, and we're not far off uh, some more constellation stuff, are we? Yeah, we've, uh, we're three off the next constellation token, and then we'd be five off the one after that. So did the ship move this round? Yes. Read the entry on the ship's new space. That is a 003. Crossroads event. Fancy Drew Mysteries. Lightning stabs the sky as you, having earned a little time off, squat near a porthole and read a book from your favorite series, Fancy Drew Mysteries. Granted, they were written for children, but that's a fair challenge for you. The best part about these books is the reader gets to make choices for Fancy Drew. A dandy little fop who pokes his nose where he shouldn't, and then turn to certain pages to see what those choices yield. Now in the story, Fancy Drew is exploring the secret of High Raven Tower. He has just come to a door behind which are angry voices. What choice will you make? Hmm, so do we have him open the door and saunter in? Have him hide and wait for them to leave, or do we cheat and see which option is best? Well, sauntering in <laughs> doesn't seem like a good idea at all. <sighs> I really want to. I just feel like it's going to be bad if we press cheat and see which is best, so I'm going to do it. Hey! You cry as you discover both endings lead to Fancy Drew's untimely death. You begin flipping through the rest of the book and learn there is no happy ending. Fancy Drew dies each and every time. You throw the book out the porthole in disgust and resolve never to read again. <laughs> That's, that sounds about right. So, remove the token. We need uh, Misfortune 1 uh, in for me. That's good. That's another star for me. We've got page 11 and set the dial to the number of plays, which is 4. And then check the threat. Okay, so let's just turn to the page first. Was it page 11? Okay, so rough C, and so the threat meets or exceeds the amounts that were allowed on the objective card, so we have to go to the threat event here, cross the first one off, and read entry 791. You see the bottom down here is, you lose, read entry 795. So we need uh, 791 to come up now. A rumor began spreading around the ship that there is treasure to be found in Deep Sister Trench. There might very well be, given how many ships have gone down in that area. But ships go down because the trench is home to all manner of gargantuan sea creatures that like sending sailors to Davy. Some of the more foolish crew members want to investigate the trench, but you and the captain decline. One day, when the ship is moored off a newly discovered island, several crew vanish along with a rowboat and some supplies. You suspect you know where they're headed, and shake your head, for you know those fools will never be heard from again. Oh dear. Well, 956, nine, oh, 956 or 960. 960 is there. But it's, yeah, risky place to be. So crew minus one, we're only on three crew. That's not good. Uh, supplies minus two. Remove all the threat from the threat track. Okie doke. And okay, we're on to the rough sea. So we've got Hungry Crew again. We don't need to send someone there. We do need to send someone to sail. I want to send someone to the captain's quarters. We want to talk to the crew. We want to, we want supplies, don't we? We're, we're probably going to have to spend all of the supplies on feeding the crew. But uh, if, we, if we do well at fishing, we could get some supplies back, maybe. We want to man the sails, don't we? We want to... The wind strength, it will reduce the wind strength. We can have multiple people go there. 
It's just if we stay here... Yeah, I want to do the captain's quarters. And hopefully with man the sails we can reduce this to zero quickly and then hopefully have stuff to sail off to. But if we haven't got supplies... Oh dear. It's just uh, fingers crossed time, I think. Okie doke. What are we doing? So first up, we, we, can, we can feed the crew. The hunger is still at two, so it would do all of our supplies. And we would get some infamy. If we asked them to go hungry, we would get some swagger and some infamy, but their discontent would go up to two, and so anything could make them meet and we would lose. So we don't want that option. Let them raid the supplies. That loses us all of the supplies, but discontent goes up two. Oh, no. Supplies aren't at zero, so we would get infamy five and lose the supplies. So it's basically, do we want... Infamy 1 and Discontent minus 1. Well, we can't use Discontent minus 1. So I might as well do Let Them Raid the Supplies. We, it still costs us 2 supplies, but we get um, Infamy 4, which is Infamy 5 for me. And uh, yeah, because I wasn't going to be able to spend the supply to get a swagger anyway. Okie doke, so that's Hungry Crew, and then sing okie doke every two seconds now. <laughs> so it's time to man the sails. So brawn plus one, and then perform a brawn check. The higher we roll, the more we can reduce dial A by. I can't increase my brawn. What is my brawn? I've just got plus one there, haven't I? Plus three there, so plus four to the roll. Okay, so what can uh, blue do? We've got misfortune. So five and one. a oh, one. Okay. That's the misfortune gone. So 1 plus 4, that would be 5, which would let us reduce dial A by 1 and infamy minus 1. I think we should try for 6 to 11. Plus 4, it's not hard to get. 10 plus 4, that's a 12. Reduce dial A by 3, infamy plus 1, which rolls me over. So I'm one away from another constellation event, and we've reduced dial A by, t by 3. Wow. So... Really, any result is fine, because I can't, you can't loop around the other way and lose in for me in that way. So even if I roll terribly here, we only need to reduce dial A by one. Uh, reducing it by three and getting some more in for me is great, but I'm not going to spend reroll tokens for it. And we've rolled off the camera, but we have rolled a lovely one, which is fine, because that's a five. Uh, reduce dial A by one. In for me minus one. Can't lose any in for me right now. So that is fine by me. Captain's quarters. Uh, we are going to cross off and read entry 45, so let's see what's cracking there. When Captain Calhoun climbs up on the crow's nest for whatever reason, you quickly slip below and enter her quarters. But you fail to notice the needle under the doorknob until you feel it slide into your flesh. The paralytic hits you almost instantly and you collapse upon the dusty floor. So you're the one who's been breaking into my quarters, says Captain Calhoun ten minutes later. The drug shouldn't affect your speech, so tell me, what are you up to? And tell the truth, because I'll know if you're lying. And to drive the point home, she pulls a dagger from her belt and holds it in front of your face. So, our options. I've been sneaking into your quarters and taking power naps. I keep running out of socks, so I've been borrowing yours. I've been trying to learn your birthday so we can have a surprise party for you. I accidentally dropped a barbecued pork rib in here last week and I've been desperate to get it back. Well, out of all of those, one seems the best. Does it? Surprise party? Would you believe that? Hmm. I think... I think surprise party. What if we find out her birthday? I'm leaning towards power naps, but I'm going to say surprise party. That is... a really weird thing to say. Calhoun says and shakes her head. She presses the dagger into your throat just enough to make you worried. Tell the others. She warns. My quarter shall be locked from now on. The next person I catch trespassing... dies. Okay, so Discontent plus one, that's not good at all. And Captain's Quarters locked, I need to write on the ship's log. So, whenever the Captain's Quarters option comes up, it's now locked. That's not good. I wonder if all of the options would have led to that. Who knows? Okay, so it's just sail now. And we did only see this a minute ago, didn't we? But uh, yeah, navigation check. Can't afford any supplies to increase that. And uh, the more we roll, the less it's going to take to move, but... <sighs> We're going to have to spend two hull to move anywhere. 
or we just stay here and there's more hungry crew and we're kind of stuck. I don't know what the best thing to do is here. The navigation check is going to be plus two. It's just plus two. So seven we've got there. So that is three hull. We're going to just have to hope that it gets higher than that. And we've rolled five. Still not good enough, is it? It's the same. Is that the same? So it's going to be three supplies and or hull to move the ship a space. We've got to do it because if we stay here, there's hungry crew next time. And the discontent will go up too and we'll lose. So this may be the end of our adventure, actually. We're going to have to spend three hull. I've got no more rerolls or anything. So I have to spend three hull to move one space. Do we move into the unknown or do we move to this island here? I, I want to keep it moving. I want to get closer to 957. But I'm just thinking on the, on the island, it's much more likely we're going to find something inhabited and be able to increase the hull and get supplies and stuff again. And maybe some crew. Yeah, let's go over there. So, round end is 8.04, so threat plus one, and reduce the- oh, phew, I was worried then. Uh, reduce the hull by X, where X is dial A. Well, it's zero, luckily, because we can't afford- we haven't got any supplies, we can't afford to lose hull. We would have to lose crew, and we can only lose one crew before we lose, so we are- Yeah, I've made some bad decisions, it seems. So we uh, can resolve constellation events- oh, I got one of those. No, I resolved that, didn't I? I shouldn't have that token. Uh, okay, did the ship move? Yes. The ship's new space is... what is it? 975. Manchego Reef, says the first mate. Return all revealed navigation tokens face down to the pile. So it's just a cobble. So we're on Reef and check threat. Threat's fine. So what are we going to do? Someone has to go on sail. So what? what is supplies? What is going to be supplies? Fishing? So only one person can go fishing. Uh, we can go diving. Nothing in really involved. Talk to crew involves swagger. Well, it's just gaining swagger, isn't it? It's not a swagger check. We could play shark darts. <laughs> do an aim check. And I'm not so keen on scouting spaces. We could go diving and maybe get some treasure. Maybe read an entry. We can't do captain's quarters, can we? So maybe... We would want to re-roll. Let's go diving. Okay, so that's going to be first. So brawn plus one and perform a brawn check. The higher we roll, the more stuff we'll get. We might almost drown in a really dumb way. But uh, yes, uh, a 16 or more would let us read that entry. I don't think, though, we, so you'd need to roll a 12 and have at least plus four on brawn to get that. What have we got? Plus three. Plus four, it's possible. We've got no reroll tokens. But if purple rolls a 12, we're going to see what that entry says. What is she going to roll? Six. So six plus uh, four is ten, which is just treasure plus one. So here we've got homemade Granado. You may spend a crew and discard this card before performing a brawn check to add six to your result. It's a useful thing to have about, but uh, no. Not as nice as these, I don't think, and I get a supply now, so maybe that's going to open the options up a little bit. Because we have got... So we've got right now... I'm just thinking, this is going to involve a check, this is going to involve a check, this is going to involve a check. I can't boost my navigation, so we don't need to think about boosting it for sale. Fish is hunting, I can boost that a bit more. Uh, shark darts is aim, and I can boost that. My aim is pretty bad, though. I would like my aim to be better for this check. I'm going to spend the supply. And I'm going to boost my aim. No star in that, but the next two have got stars in them. And so here we go. We've, we've done the aim plus, do an aim check, and it just it's a different entry depending on what we roll. No reroll tokens to speak of. And so what, what is it? My It's my aim. So it's just plus two, plus three. Plus three on the old aim. So that's 13. Oh, one off the best entry. So that's 215. Is objective card 10 in play? Yes. You challenge a local to a round of shark darts and manage to eke out a draw. Say, you ever heard of Emma Johnson? You ask the man as you finish your drinks. The turncoat. Maybe I has. Says he. Maybe I seen her before, too. You point out the window. A ways off, the captain sits in a rowboat. 
writing something in the journal she always carries around. That her? You ask. The grizzled man gives a low whistle in surprise. By God, that's her. Then I'm only half drunk, so my eyesight's just fine. Mostly. Ooh. So, fill in a star. Haven't we had conflicting evidence? Wasn't one of these evidence events the picture isn't her? Anyway. So, we fill in a star, which, remember, for a solo game, that means it's just infamy plus three. For me, it's plus four, thanks to me, Parrot. Uh, and um, make a tick mark next to evidence and lock action three. Okie doke. And so, a tick mark next to evidence means... We now have four or more, so we can now finally tick yes. We have evidence, aye, but is it enough? Captain Bonnie Calhoun! You all call, making her jump just a little. What's going on? She demands. Captain Bonnie Calhoun, says one of you. Also known as Captain Emma the Turncoat Johnson, says another. We're arresting you in the name of the Grand Pirate Council. Stand down and come peacefully. Very funny. She grunts. Now get back to work, you sorry lot. Give it up, turncoat. It's no use. But the captain turns to the lower-ranked crew that has gathered around. Arrest? She cries. Is this the thanks I get for rescuing you from certain death? She flashes a wry grin at everyone gathered. And while there are numerous murmurs of disagreement, no one stops you from grabbing the captain and leading her to the brig. Once in the brig, Calhoun gives up the ruse almost immediately. Okay, okay, so I'm the turncoat. She says. There's no reason we can't cut a deal. Too late, turncoat. Why don't you save yourself some trouble and tell us what you did with flip-flops? Otherwise, Big Sally Brown here is going to give you the thumping of a lifetime. Big Sally Brown emphasizes this by showing Johnson one of her large, meaty fists. That won't be necessary, Johnson says, holding up her hands. Flip-flops is at Port Havarti. Port Havarti! Everyone gasps. Oh, that place is a ruin after the landslits invaded last year, grouses Big Sally. Let me in there to beat on her. It's true, Johnson insists. I have a hideout there. And it is exactly where you will discover that obnoxiously adorable penguin. Everyone seems somewhat satisfied by this explanation. Contacting the council while out on the job is difficult, to say the least. It is also embarrassing, involving a pelican, a sizable length of string, a playing card with a hand-drawn image of an impolite nature, and several pieces of gold. The details are too vulgar to relate here, but suffice to say it gets the job done. Three days later, the pelican returns to you, along with a message bearing the seal of the council itself. The message reads, We are coming for the turncoat. We will meet you at Havarti. If you retrieve flip-flops when you get there, the Pirate King himself will handsomely reward you. None can deny the will of the council, and so you all set off to find flip-flops and make the turncoat pay for her crimes. So congratulations, you have reached the end of part one. The highest infamy player, always me, is uh, chooses two of the following. Supplies plus three, discontent minus two, crew plus three, hull plus three. Well, I think we need to take hull plus three, slide that whole thing around, and crew plus three. We still got no supplies, because discontent's only at one. I think that's a good, a good choice. So, we've reached the end of part one of the game. And so, I'm not sure how many parts this edited into, but um, I hope you enjoyed that so far. This has already been a pretty big playthrough just of part one. But uh, yeah, we, we can save the game. So there are, you know, you write on the back of your ship's log, you know, what the map and everything is and the treasure card numbers and story card numbers and everything that you've got. So you can pretty much resume where you were because you, you tell the app, you know, in the setup when it asked us, is this your first time? playing this scenario you say no and then it says are you resuming a save game and you say yes and so it will put you back to this point it also as you can see on the screen now gives you some instructions of things to do removing some more navigation tokens crossing off things from the entries and stuff uh, so well actually it adds previously removed tokens back in uh, so i'll do all of that Join me for the next episode where we will be finding out what happens as we venture into part two. 
And if you would like to know what I think, the link for that video is coming up on the screen shortly or it's in the description now. And playthroughs like this are only possible because of my Patreon. And thank you so much to everyone that supports there already. If you would like to become a patron, help out, uh, keep this channel going and get to vote on videos and stuff, then the link for that is in the description right now. Or it's patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. And your support would be massively, massively appreciated, as would all of the YouTube likes and subscribes and comments and all of those lovely things. Thank you for doing any of them or you know, even just watching, which I thank you again for doing. And I will see you wherever you end up. Bye, everyone.